some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What up, y'all? This is Miyagi over here. Y'all getting the vibes. I am back on the video, and today we're gonna be doing the top 10 of my worst addiction. And I, oh! is my top 10 all right you guys may think otherwise i will be having clips included and it's gonna be lit so you might as well like this video also subscribe like the vibes when not because you are late when i get to might as well do so and hit the post notification bell so you get a five post i do post every monday and friday so you might as well stay tuned with us and like let's do this i just want to say a little disclaimer Please don't try any of these things at home, okay? <laughs> Honestly, it was super hard for me to put it in order. And also another disclaimer, so sorry about the disclaimers here. I just wanna say that I am not judging any of these people, all right? I'm not. I understand that most likely for the reason why they are addicted to it is because something happened in their lives and that provided them comfort. I 100% understand that. Do I agree with it? Mm but i'm not judging nobody i just want to just say that real quick okay we're literally just talking about the tasks that they're doing and how wild it is okay not about the person themselves all right just wanted to say that <laughs> at number 10 we have the grandma lover my name's kyle i'm 31 i live in pittsburgh and i'm addicted to dating older women like 60 70 80 year old older women It's a little bit nerve-wracking because, well, he is so much younger than I am. I've got butterflies in my tummy. The only reason why I put that one at number 10 is just because, like, I just can't imagine being in that predicament, you know what I mean? And, like, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's a little odd, a little bit odd, and it's a little different. So, <laughs> I honestly... It was really hard to make this list for me because all of these are like a lot, but I just, I had to put him on here. I, he had to be here, so. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> all right, so for number nine, we have Picking My Scabs. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. As a child, I would only pick scabs that I got, you know, from bug bites that I had scratched or from accidents I'd been in. Um, as I got older, I would actually cut open a few layers of skin. Honestly, it's just so many, like, it's like, some people might think, why is this on the list for number nine? Honestly, because, first of all, It was scarring man it was scarring watching that episode all right just due to the fact that like i understand the fact of like you need scabs to heal so you don't get sick and stuff you know what i mean if you have like open wounds all over your body is you're just letting so much bacteria infections able to happen and you can literally die from it and it was just extremely just like germs <laughs> for me and at number eight we have this person and she's addicted to bee stings some viewers may find the following video disturbing viewer discretion is advised my name is margaret and i'm 53 years old i live in morning view kentucky and i'm addicted to stinging myself with bees I sting myself on my hip, my elbow, on a finger, my ankle, my forehead, on the tip of my nose. The most I've ever given myself was between 15 and 20 in my left hip. She stings herself like 15 times a day with bees. And honestly, that was just like, like how could you do that? And honestly, my other thought is like, you you eventually could build your self allergic reaction by an accident and that can kill her but not even that it's just like being able to sting yourself that many times a day like oh my goodness that's a lot man i don't know that was just like ugh, scary 
go. And number seven, we have Vapor Rub. Danielle has been addicted to Vapor Rub for over 20 years. Now, Danielle can't go more than 30 minutes without a fix and spends up to $350 a month to satisfy her cravings. Honestly, I do love Vix Vapor Rub. I do. Especially when I'm sick, it's just, I can breathe, you know? But for me to then consume it or just use it every single day is so excessive and expensive one that's just expensive but that smell doesn't smell good either like it's not like a good scent like it's nice when you're, you can't really smell or like you're sick but for you to be smelling that 24 7 and like really just dare with it is just wild to me i don't know i don't know if it's just me so at number six we have identical twin obsession for seven. some reason, Amy some had gained reason. a teeny bit more weight than me. Yeah. And people would go like, oh, you're the big twin, you're the smaller twin. And literally from then on out, oh, yeah. we eat big the time. same exact bites of food and drink the same sips of drink to stay the and, same weight, no matter what. Whenever we have situations where we can't tell if they're even or not, we'll we weigh pull it. out the scale and weigh it. So it looks like two ounces. It's okay. perfect. The reason why I put this here is because the fact of how concerned I am for them. Because like my first thought was, if any, like by any chance, if one of them dies before the other, how is the other one gonna live? Like, they're not gonna be able to, like, at all. And that was my main concern, but the fact that they were like literally scaling how much food they're eating, or like, oh, you have one piece of broccoli, I'm gonna eat one piece of broccoli. Certain things like that was just like, that was so excessive, and it's like, damn. At number five, we're at the top five now. Crazy how fast we're moving. All right, this woman literally eats mattresses. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Usually what I do is just store a lint roll in it. And sometimes hair be in there and I have to pull it out. I should be able to lick it like that and nothing get caught on my tongue. But it is ready to go. I like my mattress plain and straight up. I know mayonnaise. Would never think to eat a mattress. But like the fact that she even tried and continues to do it, she's like eight. I think she has eaten eight in her lifetime, eight full mattresses. And like, that's just crazy, you know? Like that is just wild. Top four, bathing in bleach. Yes, I said it. I love bleach a lot. I ain't gonna say I love more than I love myself, but I do love bleach. <laughs> I don't consider myself a germaphobe. I'm not afraid of dirt. I'm not afraid of germs. I just like the feel of bleach. Every time I take a shower and or a bath, I have to use bleach. Yeah, this woman literally bathes herself in bleach, which I know like it is a thing, like people do do that to help with like eczema or skin issues, but Hers is just so much more excessive and she like loves to inhale it and smell it, which is not even good to be smelling it really like it's not good for you. It's not. But like literally seriously like addicted to bathing in it. And I I honestly it's just kind of crazy to me. Like very just like whoa. Number three, this woman licks cats. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Just chewing it is relaxing. It's a comforting feeling. My cat with my tongue, like a mama cat would do to her kitten. Are you my good girl? She'll just like spread out on my arms. I'll just clean like her shoulders and her ears and the back of her head and stuff and her face. I'm a cat mommy, okay, I'm a cat mom. If you're new to my channel and you don't know, um, I love my kitty, okay? He is adorable. His name is S'mores. I love him. But I'd be damned if I was ever, ever groom him like that. Because, first of all, that texture, like, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't lick my own self. To then be licking my cat that's mad fluffy. Like, it's just, I don't know. I just, and then consuming the fur we can't digest fur like we can't digest hair in general so then it's just gonna be really bad for our insides you know all right at number two we have this woman who chews dirty diapers yes i'll say it again 
Choose dirty diapers. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. It has to have pee in it. It has to have pee in it. The heavier ones that have more pee smell better. Yeah. Mmm. This one's soft. I love it. It just tastes amazing. And there's sanitary reasons why I don't like that, but it's the fact of just like how she hides it everywhere and like. I mean, already, like, the smells for me wouldn't sit right in my stomach. But then to be chewing on it, especially, just, it's like, it's just, it's really crazy. A little bit. And I, I just, I had to put it at number two because of how wild it was. Like, like come, come on. on. That, that, that. Go, 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 go. So, so, that is definitely at number two. <laughs> okay. And at number one, we have the drum roll, please. The blood drinker. Yes! Oh, you said that. The blood drinker. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. And I am addicted to drinking animal blood. Blood is as important as water to me. term risk of developing viral infections which can be life-threatening such as HIV and hepatitis are significant and that could shorten her life. This woman drinks blood. Human's blood, pig's blood, all of it man. She with it all. With whatever. I'm with everything. Like I'm with it all. I don't even like to eat my meat that's not cooked. If the, the meat's not cooked, I will not eat it because it signifies life. And so I just don't want to do that. You know what I mean? And you're not supposed to do that. But the fact that she is drinking it and drinking human blood and like literally like cuts her friends and like they let her drink their blood and like she just be sucking on their skin and stuff and drinking it like a vampire. But like, you're not a vampire, you know? You're, you're a human being. And it's just a super concerning, you know, I, I honestly, that, that one was the craziest one I've ever seen in my life. And I had to revalue my whole life after seeing that episode because I was like, wow, like this is how this person is truly living. And like, I'm really praying for you. So comment down below, you're number one for being the worst. Cause my number one was the blood drinker. But comment down below, what is your number one? And maybe my debate about it a little bit, who knows? Okay, I'm gonna back my girl up. Cause that is pretty bad what she was doing. So yeah, pretty much. Please make sure to like this video. Also subscribe, you like the vibes, why not? Cause the early and I get to as well do so. And hit the post notification bell so you get a five post. I do post every Monday and Friday, so you might as well stay tuned with us. And oh my gosh, I almost forgot to mention, guys, your girl's at 200 subscribers. Is that crazy? I'm actually super excited about it. I just want to say I'm very appreciative to everyone who supports me, who shows me love. I love y'all. And thank you so much for that. And you know, we still on the way up, moving and growing. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Comment down below, how is your day going as well, obviously. But I hope you guys are having a great day. And this is Mianjavia. We out. <laughs>